In this video, I'll talk about how I made this graduation centerpiece, which features two pom-poms, photographs, and the graduation year, all contained in a little tin bucket from the Dollar Tree. Okay, let's take a look at all of the supplies that we're gonna need for this project, um, because there are quite a few different items. First, we need a container. This is a tin bucket that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I painted it blue. And then we need some kitty litter. This is what we'll put in that bucket to hold all of our dowel rods or sticks in the display. I love it. It's really inexpensive and it works well. We need tulle in whatever colors you want to use to make your pom-poms uh, for the project. We're not going to actually make the pom-poms in this video. I'll link to another video where I've done that already. Um, we need dowel rods, which are our sticks that will get glued onto our pom-pom to go into our centerpiece. Um, we will use paper. Uh, the frames for our photo are a big part of this centerpiece and so whatever colors you want to use for your graduation you could just layer those. They can either be rectangles or these nice cut shapes. Um, and we also will cut the graduation year using the Cricut as well uh, from the paper that we choose. Then last we have tissue paper because you can make really inexpensive tissue shred that can fill up all of the containers of your centerpieces. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is paint our dowel rods. Uh, these are from Walmart along with the white paint and I'm just going to use a foam brush to color this uh, natural wood into a white color. Now you don't have to paint these. Um, I typically do because it's so easy. There's not a lot of dry time um, so I can quickly just brush that paint on. These dowel rods come from Walmart. You can get about 16 of them in a bag for a little over a dollar. So they're pretty well priced. You don't need to worry about painting the whole stick. Um, the, the very bottom where you're holding it, that's going to tuck into the container anyway, and you won't even see that. So just get one good coat over the whole stick minus that little section that you have to hold on to, and you'll be ready to go. Once you get those sticks painted, you can go ahead and pour the kitty litter into your container. I like to fill my containers about half full. It becomes hard to, to maneuver your sticks down into that kitty litter. Um, so I'd fill it about halfway and then once your sticks are in, you can pour the rest right on top. All right, so pom-poms, once your sticks are dried, I just like to find the knot in my pom-pom um, and put a dab of glue right on that dot. Now if you don't have or you don't know how to make pom-poms, um, you can watch my other video, I'll link it below, that talks about how to make these pom-poms. But once they're made and you want to get them on a stick, you just need to put that glue right in the center where that knot is and then squeeze the pom-pom around the stick. You really want to squeeze it a few times in a few directions because you're wanting that glue to kind of travel through that tool all around where that stick is. And then you've got to let that dry. It does take a little while for these pom-pom sticks to dry. And while those are drying, you can go ahead and start getting your photo frames ready. Um, I stacked several layers of cut paper behind my photos um, just to really create a decorative photo frame for my centerpieces. You see the three sizes here. Blue is my biggest, and then my next layer down is the white, and then I've got the gold on the top. Um, and I did cut these with my Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut machine, you could just cut three rectangles, one just a little bit larger than the next to make the same type of layer. And I'm using glue dots to attach these photo frames together. I have done a lot of photo frames like this. When I use the double-sided or double stick tape or tape runners, um, they have a hard time holding and I find that different pieces fall apart. And because it's really important to me that these centerpiece photos stay together at the party, I'm just gonna glue dot it. I think they're kind of a pain, but that's what I'm doing. Um, and I glue dotted all the layers and the pictures to the frame. I do wanna point out though, look at this picture, and you'll notice that it doesn't really pop with the picture on the gold. I wasn't really happy with that. So I decided that I would cut some white rectangles um, that would be just a little bit larger than this picture. So these pictures are two inch by three inch and I'm cutting white rectangles that are 2.2 by 
3.2. I actually even cut those rectangles on my Cricut, makes them perfect, and it's very quick. So um, I put those behind the picture, and look how you can really see that picture. Here's two right next to each other, and you can see how having that white background really helps the picture pop. So I'm very happy with how those turned out. So to glue these photo frames on the a dowel rod, the painted dowel rod, I just put a strip of the hot glue on the back of my photo frames and then I'm pressing my dowel rod right into that. These dry up really quick so once we get these on after a few minutes I can go ahead and start putting them into my centerpiece. So you just got to get them right on the center and I always like to be generous with the glue. So I've got uh, four of these. Uh, this is a two-sided centerpiece, so you'll see how those go in the front and back. And then I've also got a couple of these vertical photo frames uh, that I'm putting some vertical pictures of individual girls on. And you'll see where I position these in the centerpiece as well. I always like to start with the lowest part of the centerpiece, so I know that I want these horizontal photos to be very flat, just really hitting above the rim of the bucket. So I'm going to break off these dowel rods. They're pretty tall for this short bucket. And I'm just gonna break them off so that I can poke these uh, dowel rods into this tin and have them just clear the top. So see, that was still a little bit too tall. And I'm gonna break off a little bit more. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is I have another set of photos that needs to show and peek out above those. So if these are too high, they'll be covering the other photos. So it's worth it for me just to take time to get this right. Um, and so once I get these two uh, broken sticks, I'm going to place them pretty much in the front of the bucket and I'm centering that in between the two handles and facing them forward. Um, and then once I do that, I want to turn my bucket around and do the exact same thing on the back side. This way, whether you're on the front or back of the table, you're looking at the pictures. There's no like true back of the centerpiece. So I'm going to get these cut down and place them in the bucket as well. And once I get all four of those in, I am going to go ahead and pour more kitty litter uh, for a couple reasons. One, I want to secure those sticks that I have in, but I'm getting ready to put some other sticks that are actually going to sit higher in my centerpiece. So I'm trying to get about another inch, inch and a half of kitty litter in that bucket. And that's really going to help me place these pom-pom sticks into my centerpiece. So again, I'm almost making them like a fan, you know, one in the middle and then one to the right poking at an angle and one to the left poking at an angle. Now I have to kind of play with these because in between the pom-poms, I have those two other pictures um, that are going to pop into that centerpiece. And so um, I, I might have to move them around just a little. Also, you can either leave long strings on your pom-pom. Some people really like those ribbons that come down. I'm actually cutting them off of mine. I think it's mostly just because I was using whatever ribbon I had. I don't think they, I mean, they're all the right colors. I just, I don't really like how it looks. So I'm getting those cut off of my pom-poms. And then I'm going to insert these other photo frames. The reason that the photos aren't on here is because I don't have all the pictures of the girls, the individual girls that she's having a party with. And so there'll be one for each of the girls on this centerpiece. And I'll put those on. Those will be easy to put on last minute. And now that I have all the pieces in, now I really want to fill this bucket up because getting this kitty litter to the to the rim is what's really going to keep everything in place so that when I'm transporting it, when people are bumping it on the table, whatever happens, those sticks are really secure and they're not just going to fall out or fall over or fall in front of each other and block the view of the pictures. And then I also need to make my year, the 2019 graduation year cutouts that I'm going to uh, glue onto a stick to also put into this graduation centerpiece. And so I'm just using my Cricut machine. Um, I found a 2019 
a template that was in the Cricut Design Studio. It was not a free template, but it was only, uh, I think, like $1.99. And I just thought it would be worth it. I'm using it for so many different things for this graduation party that it was just a pretty small investment to make. Once my 2019 cutouts were done, I just needed to get those glued onto my dowel rods. And so I just put a strip, found the best spot that would cover the stick. That's how I decided it would go there. And I just put that uh, graduation year right on one of my dowel rods, just like I did with my pom-poms and my photo frames. And so now that's ready to go into my centerpiece. Okay, so my graduation cutout is on the stick and it's ready to go into the centerpiece and I want it in the center right below the blue pom-pom. So I will need to break off some of the stick so that I can get it to lower in the centerpiece. Sometimes when I do this, I take a little bit too much off and it sits a little low. I think that's the case here, uh, but I still think it's cute and it's just fine. I also need to put a graduation cutout on a pick in the back side as well. I decided to use a white one on the back. And that's it. These are all the different pieces of our centerpiece. And I think it turned out really cute. If you found the video today to be helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you take just a second and tap that like button. And if you like DIY videos and you do party planning, please take a minute to subscribe. The final touch in the centerpiece is that I did use tissue paper shred along the top just to cover any of that kitty litter. Um, I'll link a video below where you can easily make tissue paper shred for pennies um, just to finalize your centerpiece. Thanks a lot and good luck with your project.